happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel. My name's Marie, if you haven't been here before. Today we're gonna do a thrift haul. Now on Sundays, all my videos will be something home or garden related. I could be working on a makeover in the home. It could be a DIY craft. We could go look at some new show homes in Las Vegas, or I could be simply working in the garden. During the week, it'd be anything from a vlog or travel, visiting a Las Vegas casino, or anything to do with makeup or some sort of fashion haul. For this haul, I thought we'd mix things up a bit. I've got 13 items here, and I thought maybe it might make it a bit more interesting if we play kind of like a game. So grab yourself a piece of paper and pen, and you get to guess how much each item is. And at the very end, I will tell you the price. Now, if you guess within a dollar of the total, then you can call yourself a thrift haul superstar. And let me see, if you guess within five dollars, then you are an up and coming rock star. And well, if you're six dollars or more off, you're just a starfish. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. So at the end, Put in the comments whether you were a superstar, a rock star, or a starfish. <laughs> right, let's jump into the haul. We're gonna jump into the very first item. Right. Make sure you can't see the price. This is the first item here. So it's metal, it's a sleigh, it's a nice maroon color, and I love these little details of the snowflakes. They're on both sides, actually. Now, I thought this could be, last year I actually did a sleigh, and then I, I think I decorated, I like adorned the outside of the sleigh, because it was like a solid wood structure, and I put stickers, and I think I may have painted it. And then I put a piece of foam in, and I did a huge, big flower arrangement, but for this, I think what I might simply do is put some gifts in here and give it as a gift basket. Well, let me know what you would do with this. Would you spray it a different colour too? So anyway, let me know what you think of this and write down item number one, the cost. Item number two is this gorgeous candle holder. I love the fact that you can put um, a stick candle or a thick chunky candle. I love the colour. I mean, it's autumn vibes right there. It's actually, oh, I didn't even think of this. When I bought this, I didn't even think of this room, but this would go perfect in this room. Duh! Honestly. This is item number two. How much did this cost? Item number three. So I saw this and thought this could be really nice um, I can cut this up, I can use it in picture frames, I can use it as a whole piece in a vase, and it's in really good condition. A lot of these um, items like this, you can find a really thick layer of dust on them, and I just don't want to sit here and dust every single item. But this is in really good condition. I, in fact, there's no dust on this at all, so someone must have just put this on the shelf. So I'm very happy with this. How much did I pay for item number three? Item number four, we're going straight back to autumn again. So we're flicking between autumn and Christmas here. Right, oh, I'm gonna have, let me remove the price off and stick it on the back. Oops, kind of ripped it. I don't think I'm gonna keep this top portion on. I kind of just like it like this. I think that's really pretty, just to sit on the kitchen counter or on a shelf, add it behind some books maybe, really pretty. I'm not sure about this portion, it's not really me. I might take this autumn piece off and add it to something else. And I probably will keep this metal piece because that would be a good little embellishment for a future project. But yeah, how much did I pay for item number four? Okay, this is item number five. This is a mountain stone absorbent stone trivet. Now, I bought this as a gift for my daughter. I don't think she has any trivets. Let me see if I can open it without showing you the price. I thought that was really nice and simple, plain but pretty. And it has the cork background here. How much did I pay for this? 
Right, this next item actually didn't have a price on it, but I do know how much they did charge at the till. Item number six, we have a little Mozart here. And I think someone handmade this because, look at, let me bring this closer. I'm not sure what the one word says, but it says Patty. Now I'm not sure what that says. But if she had made this, this is flipping brilliant. This is actually really amazing. But I actually bought it because of the colour. I actually like little headpieces like this, little historical pieces like this. So yeah, Mozart. I've actually been to Mozart's, what was it? His birthplace in Salzburg, Austria. And then I think I visited the house that he lived in. I think those were the two places we went to and you can't beat that Mozart chocolate either. Really good. Anyway, um, how much did I pay for this? But wouldn't this look nice on a little stack of books? It's great autumn colours. In fact, I might put it even on my fireplace. So yeah, that was item number one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Item number six jot down how much this was. Item number seven, when I saw this, boy, did it take me back to my school days. I had a top like this, I mean, almost identical. Now, um, when we was in the last year of school, so from the age of 15 to 16, us girls were allowed to get away with slightly more than the rest of the school, as far as our school uniform, because um, I went to quite a strict school um, where we had to wear white socks, black or brown shoes, a grey or black skirt, grey, black or purple cardigan, a white shirt, like a, like a collared shirt like this. And we had to wear, well, actually we had the option, we could wear the school tie or not wear it. But the school tie was purple with gold thin stripes going down. Now, when we was 15, we were told we were allowed to wear coloured socks, woohoo! <laughs> and we could wear blouses that didn't have collars. So my mum had this really beautiful broidery anglais blouse that I took. <laughs> so this, when I saw it, I could not resist buying this. Oh, actually, where's the, make sure I've got the price covered up. I thought this is so pretty. pretty. I might cut these off. In fact, if I wouldn't, if I didn't know it, I would say that this was my old school blouse because it's so identical. But isn't this cute? I love the buttons. Like that is a v-neck and I like this lace. Isn't that pretty? In fact, my school blouse might not have had this lace. I think it was just all broidery anglais. And then this is the back. Now it does have some staining under the arms, but I'm gonna go buy some of that OxyClean and soak it. So I'm hoping and praying it comes out. But I'm really, really happy with this. Really happy with this and I think it will fit me, fingers crossed. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> right, so this was item number seven. How much did I pay for this? This next item I bought for my dressing table. <gasps> I thought this was so pretty. I'm gonna zoom in or bring it up to you so you can see some of the details on this. I just thought this was so, so nice. And I love this dainty little edging around here. Now on the bottom, it says British Castles. In fact, it does have it written, but that is so tiny. I couldn't, I couldn't read what that is. But I just really think this is so, so pretty. Now this is more of a red color, so it doesn't really go with my room, but I just love it. So I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna buy me some flowers and put this on my dressing table. How much did I pay for this? Okay, so this next item I've been on the look for ever since I stumbled across this channel, and I'm gonna put her name here. I recommend popping over and checking out some of her videos. Now she does style videos, she does some vlogs too, but her style is absolutely what I would choose to wear. She doesn't consider herself a girly girl, she doesn't wear dresses and she doesn't wear skirts. That's completely me. Um, and this one particular look that she put together, I, I was like, oh, 
that's so me. She had some pale jeans on that were very long and they had a raw edge. I think she had paired them with sandals, but I would pair them with boots. And she just had a white t-shirt and a nice big chunky belt. And I thought that's so me, but I don't have any light jeans. So I found these at the thrift store. I haven't tried them on, so I'm hoping that they fit. They are originally from Old Navy. Now, Old Navy is the store that I actually do go to shop my jeans. But these, they look like they would fit me. They're very long, straight. So because they are so long, I'm just gonna cut the, the bottom and leave them raw edge. But I will try these on for you later, just to make sure they do fit. But Old Navy, how much did I pay for these? Item number nine, we're going back to Christmas. Right. Um, I thought this was really sweet. It's just a little pop. It doesn't have any markings on the bottom. And my daughter does more of the traditional colours for Christmas. So I thought this would be cute for her kitchen countertop. How much did I pay for this? Okay, item number 10 is three of these little homes. Now, these were all priced individually, the same price. But I'm going to add them up together. So just give me one price for all three. I can tell you these were really quite pricey each. Um, wow, I would never have paid the full price for these. Wow, I'm shook at how much each one of these were originally. But I thought this would be a nice little Christmas decoration. And I will probably repaint these. So how much for all three? Sticking with Christmas, I found this candle holder. How cute is this? I'm going to zoom in. I really like this. This actually reminds me of a snowman that I thrifted last year. It was exactly the same colour as this, but I repainted it. Now, I'll ask my daughter if she wants this, and if she doesn't, then I'm going to repaint it and keep it for myself. I think this is just super sweet. No markings underneath. How much did I pay for this? Now, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know that every time I go thrifting, I seem to end up with some sort of jug, whether it be a small one, a big one, a fancy one, one that looks really bad that I have to make over, or one that looks really nice and I make over anyway. This one, I'm not going to make over. I love the colours. Completely autumn. And I think it goes really well with the candle. Now these almost look like they're a set, don't they? They weren't next to each other. So anyway, how, this is heavy. How much did I pay for this? This last item, I just had to buy when I saw it. I fell in love with it. It doesn't really go with anything in my house. Um... But it just spoke to me. Now, I was thinking I could put it in my bedroom because I do have a little gallery wall going on behind my chair and most of those pictures have greens in them. It has a lot of dings that I could colour match and fix. So I'm not worried about that. But also, I thought it could look nice on the dinner table and put a selection of candles on. Haven't decided. But let me flick the camera around and ask your opinion and tell me whether you think this actually would work on my gallery wall. All right, what do you think? Do you think this could go here or not? Um, I mean, we've got a selection of different green colours in here. Obviously, I'd have to move this, but it could go here, down here. Um, let me know your thoughts. I don't get offended if uh, you say absolutely no way. What are you thinking, Marie? You've lost your mind. Um, that, that won't bother me. It actually look even nice as, as a like, tabletop. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one. Just added everything up. I'm going to give you a second to add everything up too on your paper. Now I'm going to show you what everything cost.
Right, so I've added up all the items and the total is $50.50. So if you're within a dollar, you're a superstar. If you're within $5, you're a rock star. And if you're $6 or more off, well then you're just a starfish. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you are. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I made it a bit more fun. Um, if you don't like this, let me know and I won't do it again. Okay, so these jeans, they're very big and baggy on me. I've got, I've got my husband's chunky belt on. But what I'm going to do is put a couple of darts in the back to cinch it in. So kind of ignore this at the moment. But I love the colour. They are too long for me, so I've just rolled them up. But what I intend to do is actually cut them and do like a frayed edge. So I've just paired them with a pair of boots at the moment. So very slouchy. This top fits me, however, I wouldn't pair it with these jeans. But I wanted to show you the fit of this shirt. I really like it. So I would pair this with more fitted jeans. But I love this. I absolutely love this blouse. I think it's so, so pretty. Okay, so I think this is a better look. Um, you know, an oversized top with oversized jeans. I'm just winging it here, don't take star tips from me, because I really don't know what I'm doing, but I definitely feel more comfortable with a baggier top, with baggier jeans. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let me know your thoughts, okay? <laughs> so this week I've got two videos. On Wednesday, I've got a bit of a vlog, and then on Friday, I've got a collaboration with the Transatlantic Wives of YouTube and it's gonna be a Halloween special. So I really hope you join us on Friday. So yeah, I've got a busy week of filming and editing to do. So I will see you on Wednesday. Have a great week, bye.